increasingly has back with its night with another distribution. Now, some of you may know the desktop environment. What am I using? This is actually Arch Linux with Enlightenment, okay? Now, I do like Enlightenment. So I used to have a bit to do with MacPup back in the day when it was still being developed. Hopefully, you'll get some time to do it, okay? More in the future. We'll wait and see, but hey, unless somebody wants to pick it up. So anyway, Enlightenment is a very, very light desktop. It's not actually a desktop environment, actually. It's more of a window manager, to be really honest with you. But it is very, very light, quick and fast. So on this machine here, it's just super the duper, really. And there's so much you can do. You can do anything you want to. It's so configurable, and you can import so much stuff into it. Now, this is just a basic Enlightenment install I've done here, okay? But I've added a few little bits just to get workable on a usable system. But I'm going to work on this over a period of time and show you how to install different uh, stuff from the Enlightenment organization. So like moving background wallpapers and stuff like that and all the other themes and the mouse cursors and stuff like that. We're going to do that over the next couple of weeks. I probably might do one a week or something because I'm trying to get a video out every day. Whether I'll manage it or not, it's, you know, who knows. But I've, I've got the urge to herbal, as they say. And so I'm getting down and getting doing some stuff now. So anyway, as you see, I've got a nice, bright, fragrant wallpaper. Very fragrant. Mm, I like it. So, Nightman here. Remember, if you're used to Puppy Linux, it's... You left click, is it? Left -click? Yeah, it's left click. Just top. I can't tell left from right anymore. And you get a menu here. I really need to change the theme on the menus and everything. Yeah, I've just not got around to doing it. And as I said to you, it's a really, really base, base, base desktop. Okay. So I'll show you a bit more about Enlightenment. So you get the system. So it's the usual there. You get the lock and log out, hibernate, suspend, reboot, and power off. And the settings, you can go to straight to the settings panel if you want to. Now, here you can do quite a lot. You can change all the wallpaper, the application, the themes, the base theme, the colors, the fonts. You name it. You can change it. So you click on apps, you can change all the stuff here. Got screen lock applications, unlock applications, restart applications, and applications for applications. For some of you having trouble getting the right screen resolution, get a screen here. Basically, that's all you do. Okay, and you can set up your screen at resolution. Yeah, you can do. Well, there's different ways of doing it, but that's one of the ways to do it. So if you get a screen set up here, you can choose it when you want. No big deal. So I've got a 1920 by 1080. That's the one I'm using, okay? So we'll close that down for you. You can change your windows, okay? You can change your menus, your language, and advanced desktop language settings, input method. There's loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of stuff here for you to play with, okay? And just get it how you want it, okay? Let's step it out of the way. Right, Enlightenment, so about the theme. What theme we got? Let's have a look. This is the dark theme. Can we select Is there another? I don't think I've got any more theme, actually. No, that's all I've got. So I've got to get some more themes in, which I'll do. And we'll download them and install them. Okay? Or put them in the right folder anyway. Because that's what you have to do. Put them in the right folder and you can access them. Right. Lost windows. Well, I've never lost a window. Clean up windows? Not really. Desktop. You can have gadgets. But I'm going to have to import these because there's no gadgets here, really. There's a few, but not too many. So I can have a clock. So if I go to clock and add it, there's my clock. And I can put it over there. I have the clock up there. What else got the eye bar? You have your mixer on the screen if you want to. You know what? You know KDE and stuff like that. It's quite configurable. Very, very, very similar. Okay. That's all the base ones you get. No more, really. I don't really want to mix on the desktop. But the time's nice, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. We'll close that and we'll keep that there because that's nice. I like that. Right in the corner. It's right down there as well. But super duper. Right. You can change your virtual desktops, your shelves. Add shelves, remove shelves. I'm going to explain all that in the future. Take a screenshot. Now run everything is back to this. And you just type it in what you want to do. Bish bosh, you're done. So if I wanted to start, say, Firefox, up it will come. You can either enter or click. So we're just going to enter, just like that. Eventually. Eventually. Oh, yeah, it does work. Darn it. There we go. It comes up on the screen. So if we go to the tube, so I'm not sure if I've added all the extra codecs in there yet, to be honest with you. So we go there and put me in so we can run a video quickly. Not too long. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all right. up there. So we go to me. And we'll quickly click there. And we'll click, 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 click,
Piddly Club. Yeah, we'll do Piddly Club. Oh, seven years ago, that Tonical. That's many moons, isn't it? Blimey. Okay, what else we got here? Oh, I've got a few, haven't I? Who'd have thought it? Oh, this one I was on the other night. Zebian, okay. Bit of a bass one. No, I've got music in my ear holes. You haven't, okay. Will it play today, P60? Oh, of course, bloody hell. No problem at all. That one's fine, look. Super duper. Will it do full screen? Yes, it will. Exit out of that. So that all works. So the browser and that all works fine. You can watch your videos and whatever you want to do. Nicey, nicey. Terminal down here is terminology. Now I'm going to open the H top up for you. Just so you can see. But that's all it's using. Look. 198, 199 mega RAM. So you can run this with very, very little RAM. So if you've got a machine with one, two gig, you're going to fly, baby. Fly. Flyer than a fly thing. Mm -mm -mm. I know. It's great, isn't it? Basically, this is all you have to do. Enlightenment is so configurable, it is unbelievable. I mean, I've got elementary tests here. I'll just quickly show you. I'm going to drag this thing all over here. You can use GL view, view gears just to make sure it works. Like that. Okay, there you go. Do gear do. Okay, it works fine. It's just to test your system, really. Is that one there? Oh, that one doesn't work. Okay, I know that. There is a reason for that. I might tell you later. Might not. Who cares? Many gears. Hmm. Should we do more teeth? More teeth? Motif, 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 motif. That's working okay, isn't it? So we'll go less, 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 less. It's the only big teeth we can get. Go down and down. Oh, we're talking big teeth here. That are, oh, 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 Cro-Mangan teeth. I'm gonna go back up. But lots of teeth, right? lots and lots. Oh my God, that's super. So yeah, you can test this and make sure your video and that's working fine. You've got the right drivers, etc. But you can get in video drives and everything from Archers, you know, you get if you want to. It's quite good in that respect. Hmm. And you can enable desktop effects. These have all got for enlightenment, by the way. Put them in the right folder. Off you go, bish box, no problem at all. I haven't actually installed too much here. Liberal's office I've put in basically because I need a, a working system, to be honest with you. Really, really. Caden Live for Video and OBS for Streaming I've put on here. And Pulse Audio, because Firefox needs Pulse Audio now. <sighs> Apparently, okay. So the full Libra is sweet. It should come out nice and quickly for you. I love it. Oh, I'm, I just clicked it and it went. Mm. Oh, ah, that's better. Okay, yeah. forgot to tell you. Right, don't worry if there's a bit of stuttering. My hard drive has nearly died. Okay, it's 18 months old, and I'll never buy another Seagate one again. Pain the posterior. But anyway, it comes up all right. Yeah, I've got a new drive for it anyway. We might be popping that in. I've got an M2 drive coming as well to end the big system. So that's a bit super duper, won't it, really? I've not installed too much else, really. I'm just going to work on it as I go, really. But I do need a music player. I haven't got round to that at the moment. Just haven't got round to it. And that's a joke. It's got not much. There's not much to show you because I haven't actually done much to it. But just to say, if you want to install Arch, Enlightenment is probably one of the better desktops to go with if you can get around the idiosyncrasies of Enlightenment. Once you get used to them, they're super fine. Oh yeah. So go and give it a go. Install Arch on it. If you want to use the Arch installers, it's not a problem, is it? There's quite a few of them now. That might be an easy way for you to go as well. Do it that way. It's entirely up to you. But give it a go and it will really, really fly nice and fast. Sneaky. Linux going out. I'll be seeing ye later. Buys of the buy.